Thank you guys for checking in with The Daily Beat. We're here with Robert Duong at the Sundance Music Festival. So Robert, how have you been enjoying your music festival so far? Uh, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I uh, played yesterday, played today, uh, have a couple of DJ kids just hanging out in the cold. <laughs> awesome. So uh, how have you enjoyed this nightlife so far? Do you compare to anywhere you're from or your experience with the EDM scene? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a lot of parties going on right now. I mean, with Sundance, it's like everything. Else. It's, you know, all the companies come out and throw big parties. Like, I played some, some party last night, DJ, and it was fun. And it was, you know, it was wasted, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, cool. So, um, could you tell us about, you know, your process with uh, creating a song, where you start first, exactly, and where you go from there, and how long it takes for you to song? I mean, you know, it totally varies. You know, a lot of songs will start on just like, uh, start a guitar, you know, and come up with vocal line, and kind of you know, move on from there and take it to the computer and then, you know, make it into something. But then, you know, I'd say most songs are, you know, when I'm on drives or on airplanes or whatever, I'm just in the computer, making the beat, making the synth line. And then, you know, it either turns into kind of an instrumental, like, house or, you know, sort of electronic song, or it'll turn into, like, a, I'll be like, this is a song that needs a vocal melody, and then, who knows, I don't know. Start to finish, a song could take uh, anywhere from five hours to, you know, weeks. <laughs> wow, yeah. So, uh, what uh, programs do you usually use and not synths or you use? Uh, I mean, I use, I use, for composing, I exclusively use Logic. Uh, when I play live, I use Logic and Ableton uh, simultaneously. But, uh, but yeah, no, I use Logic and I, uh, you know, I, synth, like, my go-to synth is, is uh, made by uh, Synapse, it's called Dune. Um, and it's kind of more, you know, housey, kind of trance sounds. It's more it's cool, I like it. You know, I use, I use Massive, like everybody who's FMA, you know, a lot of the bass instruments yeah. stuff. Whatever. So, uh, in your, what do you think, as far as the EDM scene goes, how do you think the future of EDM, where will that evolve? And do you think vocal artists like you will start to appear more and more? I think definitely, you know, I think that there's this, this kind of subset that's growing of, of, you know, people who are singers who are also either DJing or doing some sort of electronic performance component, or it's like a band playing the, the, something that's basically, you know, electronic music, you know, uh, with, you know, a real, real drummer or a guy, electronic kid. And I, I see this as kind of this, you know, as time goes on, you know, that genre match starts to happen, and I think that's great. You know, a lot of things that start out as sort of, you know, dance music sounds and stuff like that have broken off into things that are, you know, definitely not dance music, but it's cool, it's still the same kind of electronic vibe, same sounds, and you know, I think the future's just wide open, so. Yeah, totally. And uh, one last question. So, you know, Sundance, you kind of seen some outrageous things out on the streets. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most ridiculous thing you've seen in the festival so far? I did see, it's hard to even describe what this was. Uh, it was last night, this dude walking around with a, it was like a giant fur coat, but it had like LEDs in it, so it was like constantly changing colors. Whoa. It was crazy, <laughs> I didn't see anything like it. He looked, it was pretty futuristic. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it was warm too. <laughs> well, uh, I'm Sam Botero, and this is Robert DeLong, and thank you for watching The Daily Beat.